And of course, the last time the Flyers advanced to the Sweet 16 was back in 1984, and it was on this day 30 years ago that that run to the title ended with a loss to eventual national champion Georgetown. Tonight, Robert Lowry talked to two members of that legendary squad who know exactly what our Flyers are feeling tonight. Well, right now, plenty of excitement can be felt from everyone, including the last Flyers team to be in their shoes. Tonight, I got a chance to talk to former coach Don Donifer and the point guard from that 1984 team, Dan Christie, to find there's a lot in common between this year's team and the one from 30 years ago. We can do it. We can definitely do it. 30 years between sweet 16 appearances for the Dayton Flyers. Aside from the music, the hair, and the uniforms of 1984, however, there's a lot of similarities between the past team and the current. I see a lot of good chemistry with the team this year. They seem to care about each other. You can go a long ways uh, with that kind of chemistry. The same chemistry Dan Christie was a part of when UD made it as far as the Elite Eight, aided by a hot shooting Roosevelt Chapman. Nobody expected us to beat LSU, and uh, Chapman made the comment on our way to play Oklahoma, who had Wayman Tisdale, he made the comment, we'll see who the real All-American's going to be. It became part of a slogan for that team as they continued an improbable run deep into the tournament. We stumbled and fumbled around uh, early that year in 83-84, and then late in the year, we got going. Just another one of the similarities former coach Don Donaher sees in this year's team. Forget the comparisons to 1984, though. Donaher doesn't see any reason they can't make it to the national championship game like the team from 1967. They're as good as anybody. I don't care if they're 11th seed or 12th seed or 16th seed or 25th seed. If you keep making those big plays at the end, you, you can go all the way in this thing. With two big upsets, it's looking like 1984 all over again. <laughs> Flyer faithful have their sights aimed at making bigger history for the program. And before they can make it to the Elite Eight, first they have to go through 10-seated Stanford. Reporting Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.